Welcome. In this tutorial, we will learn about BERT Report Designer interface and create a simple report inside it. In this lesson, we will talk about BERT interface, connecting to a data source, creating a simple report, and formatting a report using the property editor. To create a simple report, we need to run Eclipse IDE. Provide workspace. BERT Report Designer interface can be found after installing all components of BERT Report Designer. To open Report Designer Perspective, go to Window menu, Open Perspective, and select Other. From Open Perspective, select Report Design, click OK. Close Welcome, and now you can find different options like menu bar, toolbar, palette, data explorer, resource explorer, navigator, outline, and property editor. The BERT report designer process starts by designing a new project. So go to File, New, and select Project. We are creating a project for business intelligence and reporting tool. Select Report Project and click Next. For this tutorial, we will name our project as BERT Tutorial. Once we have created a project, we can add a report design to it. From File menu, Go to New and select Report. Select a project in which you would like to create a report and provide name for the report. Click Next. When we create a new report, BERT Report Designer provides different type of predefined templates. These templates can be used in different reporting scenarios and provide consistencies. For this tutorial, we will use a blank report. And click Finish. Now that we have our report design defined, we will associate a data connector with it. This can be done using Data Explorer window and right click Data Sources and select New Data Source. Select JDBC Data Source and provide name for Data Source. From here, we need to select proper drivers for our database. Provide database URL. And correct credentials. You can test connection and click finish. The data source connection will help to connect to the database from where the report will fetch the data. Once the connection is successful, we can go ahead and start creating queries for the report. You can right click data sets and select new data set. You can name your data set and click next. From the query text area, we can create queries. You can create queries either by using drag and drop columns or you can edit manually. Click Finish. You can test the queries using the Preview Result option from the Query Editor menu. Once the results are tested, we can now start designing the layout of the report. Now we will start by adding a label element for our report. So from Palette, select Label and drag and drop to layout. 
From label, we can provide label for this report. Also, we need to add a table that will hold elements which will display the actual report data. From insert menu, you can select table. You can select table size and click OK. Now, we can easily drag and drop elements from the data explorer window to this table. Now, we can do the formatting for our report. So, select table. You can easily format your report using the property editor at the bottom. To perform formatting for the label, select label. You can change background color and text color. Similarly, we can perform formatting for the row of the table. We can also name table headers as per our requirement. In this example, revenue is displaying currency data. So we can format revenue to show numbers. Select Revenue from Property Editor in Format Number. Select Format as Currency. You can select Decimal Places and Symbol. To test results of our formatting, we can use Preview Pane to check how our report looks. Thus, with BERT, we can create highly customized reports with fewer clicks. In this lesson, we talked about BERT interface, how you can connect to a data source, how you can create a simple report, and format a report using the property editor. Thank you.